Today's session is about the new chapter called statistics. What is statistics? Statistics is collection of data or observing the data or analyzing the data. What is data? So let's come across these command terms which are strictly used in mathematical sense in the topic of statistics. Before that we understand what exactly is the use of statistics or what is statistics. Introduction. So statistics in general sense is about say for example we take one real life situation where the teacher makes the list of all the marks of the students name wise. For example I have the name the roll number marks which are calculated out of 20 and then percentage of those marks. So imagine a teacher is trying to make the different statistics, the data of different collection of marks and their students names and roll numbers. Say a student with name A and roll number 1 has got the marks 17 out of 20 or he got 10 on 20 and his percentage is 50% of 100. And say student B whose roll number is 7 has got 15 marks out of 20 and his percentage is 75%. So this collection of the names, collection of their respective roll numbers and their marks obtained for 20 marks in the math subject, their math marks obtained and the percentage of those marks is what the list, what teacher usually does before they prepare the progress card. So this can be one of the purest and the best example to understand statistics. So the teacher is trying to collect the data of all the marks and trying to analyze the marks obtained through the percentage and then the student would realize and then the teacher would realize where the student is standing. So this gives me a clear picture. Say I take student C with roll number 5 and they got cent percent which is 100%. And finally, I take student D, roll number 3, got 5 marks. So this gives me a clear picture that the student who got 25% is below average or at low performance and he is excellent. good and mediocre so here we try to give the different names as here poor or very poor so the teacher gets an idea with this statistical data that the marks which the students have obtained can be rectified and then proper care taken for student D and improvisation principles applied for student A. So therefore my statistical data helps me in analyzing the data and making positive outcomes. The teacher here has analyzed the data of marks into the percentage and made some precautionary measures. Student B and student A are taken proper care of. So in mathematics we have many real life situations which are converted to data, which are converted into analyzing the data and then understanding the real life situation through the data, which is called statistics. So let's see the definition in brief on what is statistics. In more simple sense, let's try to define what is statistics. Statistics 
is the collection of information which is investigated for its statistics is the collection of information which is investigated for its effect on the situation for example the population of different of the country for different years is the information which gives us on the effect which gives for situation for example population and year if i take the year and the population what happens let's see say i start from 1980 1985 1990 95 2000 and this so on and so forth and let me say the population here is 60 million 70 million 75 million 80 85 93 97 100 so this is all about the population of the country every five years so the year which is calculated with population every five years accounted with gives me the effect like it is gives me the collection of information which is being investigated because the population is increasing every five years as seen from this table i take precautionary measures because 100 million seems to be a very big population therefore statistics which is the collection of information is investigated for its effect on the situation and then precautionary measures are taken now clearly this table gives me that this has serious effect on the situation because if the population of the country increases very much there will be scarcity problem food problem steps house problem and many other problems which arise therefore through statistics i conclude that i need to take precautionary measures from the year 2015 which is with the population 100 million on the whole statistics helps me in controlling the situations by studying analyzing observing the given information the information which is called data